Alright guys, today's video I'm going to talk to you about restoring your Motorola Droid Ultra. This also process works exactly the same on the Droid Max. And um, we're going to be talking about how to use a program called RSD Lite to unbrick or factory restore your device 100% um, to stock. Also, this also works with downgrading your firmware. Um, what I'm actually going to do in this video is downgrade my firmware because I want to root my device and I can't do that on the firmware I'm on currently. So I'm just going to show you what I'm running right now. Right now my current firmware is the um, one or nine, yeah, one nine dot six dot three dot obake and you know Verizon ENUS blah blah blah. That's my current uh, system version and I don't want that one. I really need the version before that, which I think is the 19.5 something. So anyway, that's the one I can root, and that's what I'm going to do in this video is actually downgrade, but you can also just um, do a restore with this. You can unbrick with this. This is the same process works along the boards. So that's what I'm in right now. But to do this, one thing i got to point out, you want to have a good battery life before you start this process. Um, actually, and you want to have good battery life before you do anything on your phone, um, really, when it comes to hooking to your computer or any time. So make sure you have that. Um, next, we need to get into bootloader mode so that we can actually go ahead and uh, do this flash. So to do that, we're going to uh, power off the device. should be uh, shutting down. All right. So from here, you're going to hold volume down. And then power, one, two, three, four, and let go. And then you are in um, fast boot mode, okay? So we can hook up our, this to our computer. But before we do, let's just let that hold for a second, and let's go check out the drivers on my computer. Let's get everything set up on the computer to do this. We'll just leave this just like that. All right, guys, here we go on my computer. Basically, you're going to need three files to do this. Um, it isn't very hard. You basically need... This file to downgrade, which is the one what I'm going to do today, versus restore. I have a couple other full files here we can do this with, but we'll need this one. And then you're going to need the drivers, and you're going to need RSD Lite program. So I'll link you to everything. Don't worry about that. Um, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and run the drivers. So you just double click on them, and it does a quick little driver install. It says that I actually have my drivers are good, but normally you just go ahead and run through this install. It's very simple. Exit when you're done. Okay, pretty much cake. So I'm going to close that for right now. Go ahead and hit finish. That's the screen you would see at the end when you finish it out. All right. So what we're going to do from here is go ahead and plug a USB cable into our computer, and then plug one into our device, and your driver should install. It might take a second for them to install. This thing says fast boot reason, press key, USB connected, USB disconnected. I'm not sure what that means and why it says disconnected there. But normally if your drivers are installing, um, you'll get something like this, you know, saying they're installed. This says it looks like they're installed for here, so we should be okay. Um, so to make sure our drivers are functioning correctly, everything is working like we need it to be, um, we're going to open up RSD Lite program right here. Always give your drivers a couple minutes to install, though. It does take a little bit. So let's open up RSD Lite. This is the program we're going to use to flash the firmware. And here it is. And let's go ahead and hit Show Device. So it's not actually seeing it. Let's go ahead and unplug and plug it back in again. It should function. All right. That's better should say connected right there. Um, you want to leave it in this state for a little bit just to make sure nothing disconnects on you. Don't bump any of your cables. It's really critical because you're flashing all kinds of critical stuff here. Um, and then you want to say show device. Here we'll click on the device and then show device. Uh, it's, not, it's not doing it yet. So, But we do have the device here so that's what counts. So you want to be able to see the model right here which just says Fastboot Obake S which is fine. Um, and then you want to be able to see the progress is going to be important and results. Just kind of spread it out so you can see everything. It should say connected. That's what you want. All right. So from here, we're going to click on this one, and we're going to go to where our files are at. So I'm not sure where we're at here. I am in the file system, and actually I was in the file. So um, just find the file you want to flash. 
and mine is right here. You want to find the XML files, what you're looking for. You can even click the zip and it'll extract first, but I already extracted mine. It works either way. And you look for the XML and it's all listed. And basically, you should see the name of the XML, which is right there on top, a date, some other software things right in here. So file properties, you'll see it all, and device properties is just NA, not a big deal though. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and hit start. So after many headaches, this is what I've discovered. Let me go back to my uh, main file. So here's my ex extracted software. You got to click on it, click on here. Click on this one and open with, and I use Notepad++. And we have to delete something out of our XML. So here's the file right here. And basically this line right here, we have to delete. So hit delete, and then hit save. Um, actually, we're gonna delete that space even. There we go. And then hit save, and hit close. And then we'll just double check to make sure it's gone. Yes, it is. So for some reason that throws an error anytime you try to flash the firmware. So now that that line is deleted, we should be good to go. Um, and uh, basically that was the set max download size line. You need to delete the whole line and get rid of it. All right, now let's try to see if we can flash our firmware correctly. So let's, let's go grab it again, which was here, here, and scroll to here. All right, everything is there, and let's go ahead and hit start. There we go. So now we've got some flashing going on. You can see on the device and on the computer, we are on step four right now, five. Um, it is going through the firmware flash. It's very annoying that I couldn't figure that out. I had to read and do some more research. Um, I wish that just wasn't included. I think what I may do for you guys is just go ahead and... Uh, zip this whole thing back up with that line removed so that you can flash it without having to delete that line um, and you know you'll get all the links in the video description down below so right now we're on step seven this is the most uh, the biggest file of the step so we're st we're flashing our system image right now and this file does take a little while to flash so be patient for it um, definitely don't bump your well you see me bump my camera probably but don't bump your USB cord down there or lose power to your computer or something major go wrong right now because that is would be a very bad situation. Um, system isn't the end of the world if it messes up on, you don't want it to mess up on bootloader. If it messes up on bootloader, you have a permanent brick device. So that is the one that's really bad. Um, otherwise, I mean, pretty much as long as bootloader is working, you can basically get back in and reflash firmware. Um, that, that Otherwise, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. So. We're going to go ahead and let this thing run through the system image. It is going to take a little while, so be patient for it, and we'll keep going here. All right, so system image there took um, a little while. It was probably about three minutes for flashing system, and now it's moved on to 8, 10, 11. It's going to go pretty quick here now. You can see it's uh, wiping cache user data, all those things, and we just went to a reboot. So um, it is rebooting. Now... If everything goes smoothly here, you're good to go. If it does not boot up after this process, like if you get stuck in some kind of random boot loop where you keep seeing that logo, you're seeing the boot animation, and it never comes out of this, all right, um, give it 10 minutes. If it doesn't come out in 10 minutes out of a, a boot loop situation, um, you're going to want to wipe data factory reset by booting into stock Android recovery. Um, I have a video on that if you want to know how to do it check that out for sure. I'm going to wait here for a little bit longer just to make sure this is all good. Um, at this point, it does say it's still in progress on the computer, but there is nothing else being done with RSD Lite program, so we're going to close it out. And, well, all right. So it says it could damage the device if you close it while you blah, blah, blah. I'll wait just because I know you can do it, but I'll wait. So I'll say no. And we'll let it we'll let it finish until it says pass or fail. It's just going to take a little bit, so we'll just let this thing go through, and I'll show you that. All right, now we're really going. Setup Wizard is right there. That is a beautiful thing. Um, you're going to see Setup Wizard for about 20 seconds or so, and then you'll see the activation screen for activating your device. I'm really surprised the RSD Lite program hasn't said results um, pass or something like that yet. I think it has to do a full 100% boot for that to happen. 
which means you got to get past the uh, setup wizard uh, spinning little hourglass here. So basically, guys, this is it. This is how to downgrade your firmware if you want to get root access. This is how to um, restore it, all of those good things. It is done. I can tell you that right now. I don't really care if the program says it isn't or not at this point. I'm going to close out the program. Say, so, yeah, who cares, because I know it's fine. We're done on the computer here. And let's just go ahead and show you guys the phone. So everything's done here. We can unplug our cable because the device is fully booted up even though RSD Lite uh, didn't say it was. You can wait and sit and wait if you want for RSD Lite to say it's complete. It, it's fine either way. Um, but once you got this screen, you're definitely good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and I'm gonna do Wi-Fi really quick. I'm just gonna show you that we just downgraded here, um, slash restored, slash unbrick, whatever you wanna call it. All right, just uh, jumping through my initial setup here, and we're gonna go into settings about phone and there it is system version 19.5.3 obake there it is guys that is it that's going to be how you downgrade your firmware if you want to get root access right now on android 4.4 also how to unbrick how to restore all that good stuff using rsd light program and uh, SBF files and I'll give you everything you need in the video description. Hopefully this is informative for you. I'm sorry if it was a kind of a long video. I was just trying to cover everything so you got a pretty good understanding of how this functions and how it works. Don't forget to install your driver's RSD Lite program. Have all your files downloaded before you start. Full battery life and all that good stuff and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.